Today we're going to talk about botanical data sheets, so we're going to spend a little bit of time just going through the sheet and explaining the different processes. So whenever you're buying paint products, always ask for a technical data sheet which explains how to use it. If you purchase stuff online from ourselves, if you go down the bottom of the page, you'll see a little section there beside the big description of the product and it'll have data sheet. If you click on that, it'll open up another page and on it you'll see technical data sheets and also MSDS sheets which are do with health and safety. But we'll talk about that at a later stage. Today we're going to concentrate on technical data sheets which refers to the correct usage of the paint product you've purchased. For, for the purpose of this example, we're going to look at this particular product. It's a BC Orky Lawn. 6480 is the part number. Quite a basic paint. You'll see just below that, the first header, you'll see application. So this is going to refer to how you apply the paint and what it basically goes on to. So here it has specifically developed for painting and labeling PVC tilts. Outstanding for its quick drying, flexible and adhesion. It's worth mentioning this is what we would refer to as a 1K product. So in this case, all you need to do is add thinners to this particular product. Next down, we have physical properties, which are referred to likes of VOC. Sometimes that's necessary to uh, determine how much solvents are in the paint, depending on what area you're in. It'll also tell you that it's acrylic, that it's color, it can be mixed in the European system. Then is surface preparation. This is a very important one again. So check whether it's a PVC tilt in this, this particular case. The surface we painted should be degreased with thinners, which is fairly standard. Next down then we have application instructions. So important, please take the recommended thickness into account in order to avoid problems during the drying process. So what that's telling us is, be careful how much paint you apply on. Obviously if you put too much paint on, you can have issues like cracking or peeling. Again, it just reinforces the reason why you should always check out a technical data sheet. Next down, you'll see some symbols. The first one refers to the thickness of the paint. Now, this might be getting too complicated. This will be only relevant um, for very high-end spray painting where you need to know the viscosity of the paint. So we'll skip by that one. The next one you'll see is a picture of a spray gun. So in this particular case, this paint can only be applied by spray gun. It says Urkisol 500. The manufacturer is referring to the type of thinners you put into the paint. And below it is saying 60 to 70% thinners. So for every liter of paint you'd use, you would add in 60 to 70 percent thinners into it. Next over, you'll see another spray gun, and that refers to how many coats you give it, or thickness per coat. So it's saying 20 to 25 microns. That's giving you a dry film thickness, MY. So again, it's saying each coat. So normally you'd give two to three coats. Next up to that, you have a clock. The clock is referring to this the speed of drying or how quick the paint is dried. In this case, it's saying 10 minutes. So in, it's touch dry in 10 minutes. It then says it's tack free in 30 minutes. So the first one is where it's, it's basically skimmed over. It's lightly dried. The second one is saying is, you know, you can push your finger down into it. It'll leave a small mark. Usually with all paints, you will be looking at 24 hours for them to dry. But certainly you can handle this particular one after 30 minutes. Next down, we have the features of the dry film. This is going on about how much paint you need, the coverage of the paint. So it has theoretical yield. It's measured in meters square per liter. Again, we won't get too technical about this, but this is basically, you need to know this if you want to work out how much paint you need for a particular area. In this case, it's saying 13 to 14 square meters per liter of paint. And a dry film thing is at 25 mil. The next down it has gloss. So it's telling you how shiny the paint is going to be when it is totally dried. Saying the gloss level, which is measured again in percentages, is saying between 55 and 65 percent. Down from that second layer, so it's saying one hour. So basically, after an hour of drying at 20 degrees, which is the industrial standard, you can then apply a second layer. And below it again is storage, and that fairly explains itself. Okay, that was a quick look at technical data sheets. Um, as I say, it's well worth looking at the technical data sheet. Don't be daunted by it. Um, it's worth spending a few minutes flicking through whether you have to paint off ourselves or elsewhere. It's good practice just to do that. Because if you don't follow the instructions, you can end up in trouble and you can waste a lot of money and time. So please feel free to contact ourselves at vinnyborn.com, uh, sales at vinnyborn.com, or ring us. Uh, I'm really too glad to help you.